If your teacher would like to have a virtual meeting, she or he will post the meeting information and the link to join the meeting in Google Classroom. They might post it via stream or on classwork. As you could see in here, the teacher posted the virtual meeting information, the date when it's going to occur, and the time. So at that time on March 19th at 1 p.m., this is just an example, all students would do would click on this link at the time of the meeting. So at the time listed, which you could see here at 1 o'clock, you would just click the link below. Once you come to this page, you're going to see your options. Right now you could see the camera is turned off. If you would like to show your face during the online virtual meeting, you would check this to turn on your webcam. You also want to make sure your microphone is on. On this page only, this is like the preview page. No one could see you or hear you on this page. This is kind of like your prep page. Once you turn on your camera, or like I said, you could keep it off. Just test your microphone, see if it's working. You can see here as I speak, these little blue lines are moving up and down. That means your microphone is working. You could see here that your teacher is already in the Google Meet meeting. As other students start to come into the meeting, their names will be listed here. So right now you could see only your teachers in. When you want to join in, click on Join Now. This is what the Google Hangout will look like. As you can see here, presently I have my webcam turned off and I have my microphone turned off. As soon as you enter Google Meet, you should turn off your microphone because when there are many, many students in the room, it could be chaotic if everybody's microphone is on. So once you enter the meeting, choose your microphone, turn it off. You'll know it's turned off if the button is red. You can also turn off your webcam if you do not want people to see your face. If you would like to ask your teacher a question on something on your screen, you could actually click present now. And here are your options. You can show your teacher and everybody else in the meeting your entire screen. So if you have a question about something that your teacher assigned and you want to ask them and show them, is there something that, that you're doing that you need to do, you just click on your entire screen click on the screen and then choose share. Once the meeting is done, you will click on the phone icon, which means leave call. Just a tip, when your teacher is speaking or any other student is speaking, you should turn your microphone off as proper etiquette. Only turn your microphone on when you have to ask a question or say something. Turning your microphone off will make sure the meeting runs smoothly and that there is not a lot of audio feedback.